Hi. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Christian. I'm one of the founders of Embrace. Uh, my co-founder is Batman. He's over there. And um, I'm here to talk to you about how to promote games, if you're interested in that. Um, <laughs> I was working formerly at the uh, industry here at Kunststoff. They made Pudding Panic. Made, some of you might know that. Um, and what is it with how do you promote games? So there are several ways, like all these ways I'd write myself. Um, but not only like the first three, like this performance marketing thing, apps or SEO, social media marketing, that's all not working for like you guys probably that just have your own game and want to get some uh, awareness for that. Because you need for the first one, you need money. For the second one, expertise. You can get into that if you're interested in apps or SEO. I can tell you about that stuff. But you should not maybe not focus on that. Social media marketing, yeah, if you have already a community or like no big social influencers yourself, you probably can push that, but you should not bet on that. So what last is um, classic PR. What classic PR means is uh, get press coverage. So, um, but then if you think about all these game journalists, they get like 50 mails a day or something. So what you should do is be personal. So. Don't stop, stra uh, stop pitching strangers on the internet. Just don't send them a mail saying, um, "Hi, here's my no game, uh, my new game. Please cover it." How you how you manage to be personal with them? It's like building a relationship with these uh, journalists. So, be out there, like uh, Twitter, blog about it, and it's not so much uh, what you blog because uh, you're mostly indie developers, so you have a particular sense of a particular meaning of games. So. What do you like? What do you not like? How do you do it? What's easy for you? If it, you just put that down somewhere, it's not about people reading it immediately. It's just that you have it here for like the first level, if you want to. Then know who they are. Um, don't write these uh, these game journalist outfits. Just say like dear editors or something like that. Nobody will care. They're just like okay, that's not addressing somebody. And it's not that those guys hide somewhere. Like you see the guys covering topics your game fits into or something like. That. So figure out the names of the guys. They are on Twitter too. Find them follow them up, engage with them. Um, meaning, they have the interests, and maybe you have something like blocked about it, say like, hey, I can back your story, or I know a guy who has another opinion about that, and they're always happy about that additional information they can get concerning whatever they're interested in, but please don't fake that shit. If you write them mails like, hey, I like your blog post so much, like if they never saw you engaging with them, like commenting on a blog post on Twitter or something, they will just say, okay, that guy faked it, I never heard of them, and they will never react again onto you. So be personal is the first part. Then the second one is provide an interesting hook. That's mainly at the beginning, if you don't know them so good, it's like an interesting main subject line. That sounds kind of obvious, but mo ma mo most guys do something like, <laughs> most guys do something like, um, yeah, a new game from Y, X, S, whatever, these random stuff. What you should do is um, really tell the story, not about the game, about your studio, like a uh, new founded Berlin studio from former AAA, like you can't even make it a bit longer because they just scan their subject lines and will just stick on something that's interesting for them. So your games is not news at all, also like I have a Kickstarter campaign, I got a green lead, green, uh, Steam green light or something like that, that is not something they are like randomly interested because they get so much stuff of that. Um, keep it short in your first mail. Um, that, as I said, has a, a little story break and then um, provides some links, especially yeah. um, photos or if you have a, a prototype somewhere, but in the end of the mail, just hook them with something in the beginning. And most important thing for them is also um, preparing an outstanding video so that they have something to post on their website uh, because with videos they get the most traffic. Yeah, and thank you, that was a very short talk <laughs> for myself, but I should keep it short. A short talk. Thank you. Questions, sure, questions, questions, if you have any questions. Sure. We have, we have an, uh, a few example email subject lines. Uh, email subject lines. Um, like what we did with Putting Panic was, it was already like an interesting thing about, uh, it was a jelly and a ghost, right? So we actually did that, like a F, star, star, a fucking jelly and a ghost, right? And that got picked up pretty good. <laughs> and we also tested a lot of that things. Um, we engaged with that. Uh, guys, and yeah, it mean it was already good that these the subject was so crazy and it all like you can always if you always have like a a, a comparison like if you have a triple A game which and you'd say like uh, fact that we make the opposite like you can really because they're a person you don't have to be like uh, very 
the official PR kind of speaking, if you're in India, especially now, then be original, be yourself as, as much as you can be. Yeah. Like one thing that's super useful. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm a journalist, so <laughs> one thing that's yeah. uh, for me so, uh, super useful. How, how do you? Uh, would you say? <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. And okay. uh, like, I uh, like if I get emails that are like super long, yeah. that just turns me off because like so much to skim. Like, where's the like, where's oh. the <laughs> just the meat. bits and pieces? Like, ah, yeah. come on. Um, <laughs> The, the thing that I, I love is Preskit. Like it's a it's Dubreskit. Dot com by, yeah. by by Flambeer. Um, like get on it. It's yeah. awesome. Like it's uh it's one thing that tells you what kind of game it is. Like there you have like a, a clean layout to look at pictures, to look at videos, to have like a short pitch. Like, it's great. Yeah. So Dubreskit. Dot com is yeah. Just like what, what what's terrible is like here's a Preskit and then there's a link to a zip file. Yeah, yeah, but Dropbox, no. is, Dropbox is still okay. Like I heard, Dropbox is like option two at least. That is okay, a Dropbox mm -hmm. link. But okay, do do <laughs> press, get, come do that. It's uh, it, it basically is created in one pager where you can upload like videos, text, photos, and they can just send the link. People can download it, and it's super easy. I mean, maybe not send links with your first mails because it can end up in spam filters. So maybe test it before. You send out the mails if it uh, gets into spam filters. That's also something because it might not be that they don't open. It's just we may never get it at some point. Yeah. yeah. I'm journalist too. <laughs> How many of you? Maybe from a slightly different perspective, yeah. if not for a gaming only medium, but general mm -hmm. interest. Two things: do write mails, please, and before you be original, be uh, do the infos. Really, what what we have is mm -hmm. in the subject line. The title of the game, the style of the game, and the platforms it's released on. Okay. It, it, it's very dry, but yep. I know what I have to deal with. And then a short paragraph where there's written what about the game. Everything else, Steam, Kickstarter, everything after that. But the most important thing to me, at least, is is the game something. Okay, because we tried it also that way around, and we got like very less responses. And with the second, like the more quirky kind yeah, of second I, approach, it was I, better. I can imagine it's, it's a different thing when you write to a gaming only. Yeah, but probably yes. Yeah. Take connections to general interest media. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's another thing. Yeah, makes sense. Also about the press kit, um, I'm working for radios. Mm -hmm. I always wonder why it's so hard to get a soundtrack of the game. <laughs> you can review. Yeah. It's also not for the radio, but also for podcasters. If you happen to have one or two pieces, you can give out to it. Yeah, to put your soundtrack radio. also in the press kit thing. Might help <laughs> people. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and the video, please show actual gameplay. Yeah, yeah. Really that was the point with the outstanding video. If uh, you cannot f make good videos yourself, maybe find somebody who can help you with that because it's very important. Uh, journalists, when they post their videos, they also like put their name is on top of that article. They don't like to post bullshit that's not in such good quality. Yeah. Cool. So we're lucky to, to have at least two journalists tonight. So <laughs> you, should, you should follow Christian's advice and then go and engage with them. Become <laughs> best, best friend. Ask their phone number. And like, <laughs> <laughs> no, like that's what you should yeah, do. Yeah, probably yes. Probably yeah. yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.